Hello. So today's video is gonna be about Cloud Natural Language API Quick Start. So let's click on it. Okay, before starting the lab, we need to get 100 points over here. The Cloud Natural Language API lets you extract information about people, places, events, and more mentioned in text document documents in news articles. You can read more over here and the features, what it can do, syntax analysis, entity recognition, sediment analysis, content classification, multi-language, integrated REST API. And uh, okay, let's start the lab. I'm not a robot. I will give you a subscription. Always remember to work on incognito mode or private mode. Okay, it is ready. So first of all, I click over here to copy the username. I'm already working on private mode with Firefox. So I just click over here and paste the credentials that I got. Let's go back to get the password. I'm working with my student account over here. That was provided for me from uh, Quick Labs. Here I press the confirm. It's a good practice always to do it on your project. One last checkpoint, and yes, I agree. And we are ready to start. So let's go back. It says that we have to activate the cloud cell. Over here is the cloud cell. Continue. Okay, it's a good practice always to write your code. I want to see the list. Yes, I want to authorize. So this is my active account, the student account. This was the command that we just typed. And over here, we want the ID of our project. And our project is ID is over here. If we go back to our lab, you can see that GCP Project ID is over here, it's exactly the same. So now we can continue <coughs> and we are going to create an API key. Let's copy and paste over here your active configuration is this one. Now we create a new service account to access the natural language API. And create a service, my NatLang service account. Okay, natural language service account. Now we will create credentials to log in as uh, our new service account. Copy and paste over here. We have created an account. So let's go back. Now we want to set the Google application credential environment variable. That's how that's why we type export Google application credential and where we want to have it. And everything is done. Now we can check if it's created correct green tick and over here we have 50 out of 50 so we can continue now we have to go to our uh, compute engine so over here navigation menu compute engine 
Over here is the virtual machine instances that we have. We have the Linux instance. Let's close this. And we have to click on the SSH button over here. Great. As you can see, we are with the student account. Okay, so we are going to have this uh, sentence Michelangelo Caravaggio, Michelangelo Caravaggio, Italian painter, is known for the calling of Saint Matthew. So copy it and let's go over here, paste it. The request has been made, the lab has finished. Now let's run this command to preview the output of our JSON file. As you can see over here, the code name is Michelangelo Caravaggio, Painter. We have 82.9% that Michelangelo Caravaggio is a person. We have 13.98% uh, to be Italian location and uh, it is an event with 3% the calling of St. Matthew. So that was the Cloud uh, Natural Language API quick start. Of course you can do a lot more things, but this is just a quick start. Now we can uh, click Add Lab. You can uh, choose how many stars you want for this uh, lab. So, as you saw, it was very fast uh, video. You have to finish either one of these three in order to get uh, this green tick and uh, finally get uh, this badge for the other two if you don't want to do the natural language or and you want to try the cloud speech api it's uh, almost the same again we activate the cloud cell now we have to create an api I key, it's very simple, very easy. We check our progress. Again, we open our uh, uh, SSH from the Compute Engine instance that it was created for us. Over here, you have to uh, replace everything that after the equal sign with your API key. And then you touch the request JSON file, and everything will go smooth. This time we have worked with uh, Natural Language API. So if you go to cloud.google.com slash natural dash language, you will be here where you can read more about the API demo, the AutoML natural language, the benefits, the features, uh, the customers uh, that uh, uses it, uh, the pricing, uh, some resources, how to get started. You can go also to the speech to text. Here is the link. Where you can read more over here about uh, the benefits, the key features, the customers, what's new, the documentation, use cases, um, how to improve customer service, enable voice control, and finally the video AI. It's over here. 
again the overview the benefits the features customers use cases pricing resources and how to get started next steps after finishing it lab it's a good tip always to go and read the documentation of the tool or the technology you have already used on quick labs if you want to learn how to use gcp how to work with gcp how to prepare yourself for for the good cloud certification it's a, a good tip always after the lab to go during the documentation it will help you a lot believe me so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one